lifting after rough storms ripped through Hamilton. Our main, main goal when we first come into a storm is to clear the streets and make the streets passable, and then we come back and clean up afterwards. The cleanup efforts started early this morning on Hooven Avenue, and it's easy to see why. Debris scattered just about everywhere you look, trees uprooted now rest on top of homes. The Parkers had not one, but two vehicles destroyed. A big headache, a big headache. How am I going to get it all accomplished? A couple of blocks away, crews worked to clear a few branches from the side of St. Anne's Church, feeling blessed soaking rains and strong winds didn't destroy more. Rain was up about a foot and a half in the streets and trees down everywhere. The end of this street, there's a trampoline in the middle of the street that got blown out of somebody's backyard. Power crews are hard at work too, running new lines where trees wreaked havoc. But amid all of the damage, people who live here say this community is already stepping up to help those hit hardest by Mother Nature's fury. I mean, everybody around here kind of takes care of everybody and looks out. It's, it's a great neighborhood. The city of Hamilton is asking residents to cut tree limbs down to a reasonable size and put them at the curb so crews can collect them over the coming days. Reporting in Hamilton, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5.